Um, so it's been a really interesting three weeks. It's not the ideal time to pick up an athlete as they're going into comp prep. Um, but I think Tom has adapted to a different style of training really well. So I'm a big believer in trusting your gut. So when I work with somebody, I know within a few minutes of meeting them, based on that gut feeling, which is your amygdala talking to your stomach, your threat detection system talking to your stomach, I knew we'd get on well. And I met Tom yesterday for the first time, and I met Luke yesterday for the first time. And it was just like old friends. You know, we, we got on very well. I came home last night, and uh, yeah, I was buzzing. Um, although I was asleep by 8.30. So it was, a, it was a very stressful but very busy day. But yeah, I think it went really well. Um, I think this year has been a, a mixed bag, you know, obviously one world's strongest man. Um, and then had some subpar performances where I think his head went. You know, I think, I think that this sport is very, it's very much a mental sport. It's less about, yeah, you have to have the strength, you have to be a big guy, you have to be able to move the weights. But I think if your head isn't there, I think those are the things that drive performance. So my job today is keeping Tom's head in the game. Let's come. Hey. All good? You, yeah. You, are you Let's do it. Right, we'll push you in that. Yeah. You're going down that way, right? Yeah, is that okay? Good, How are you doing? Good, yeah. yeah. All set. All good to Sleep go. Sleep right? Yeah, yeah. You and Marshall are good to sleep, so. Oh, that's cute. That's nice, nice to do. It was good, actually. Right, we'll see, uh, see you through there, okay? Yeah. Yeah, good. See you soon, guys. See you, man. Right, see you later. See you on the other side, brother. Thank you. Right, mate. See you later on. Thank you. Love 111. Love 111. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go, boys! <laughs> Who, uh, Haftar Bjornsson, Hooper, be controversial, L Luke Stoltman. Ooh, okay. Bit cheeky, bit cheeky. I think he'll be excited. I think he'll be getting pumped up, especially because it hasn't started yet. And then I think the fact that it's in Scotland, it'll pump him up even more. So yeah, nervous, excited, but I think he just be ready to get going now. So yeah, so Luke's had two attempts and we're finishing there because that's a PB for him. And um, as, long, as long as Tristan doesn't pull this, he's already got an extra point to what we expected anyway. So, so it's, it's really good. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, very much. This is a very good comp. I very much enjoy it. Bit, bit strict, but very good. No, so Tristan's not got that. So, so yeah, so Luke's got an extra point on what we expected anyway. So this is good. Got two beady coaches here. Another go. Two very handsome, good looking coaches. Oh, you're very handsome. <laughs> I'm just very old. <laughs> to 397 kilos. So they've done more than this in training. <laughs> Brother, cheer the Stop it! 
putting on a show here in Scotland on the yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to go and try and catch him on stage. Tom Stoltman at 8 7 Sorry, what are you up to? He comes back onto the floor also. Stop and get it off the air. What a way to go as Hooper fighting for 975. Thor fighting for it. He stands up tall. Thor means business. Give it up. Luke, here I am. Flabbergast the people with uh, power and love, determination, goals. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how are you? Hey, you good. I work with the brothers. Oh, nice. Uh, what do you think? Any of you fancy? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I was told, man. Yeah. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> Lovely to meet you, I'm no, Harry. Nice. nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wow, oh, yeah, good, good uh, shirts. We'll give you a good discount. <laughs> <laughs> Still got to grow. It's good. This is good. Yeah. Good enough? Yeah. What do you think? No, it's too tight. Yeah. A little bit bigger. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's good. Perfect. There you good. go. Stop me. That's yours, mate. That's yours. All right. <laughs> Put your stop yeah. hat on then. There's you too. Might have the YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Team USA, come in! And there you have one. Approaching the two minute mark. Can you get a rep in? Impressive. And Luke, farmers carrying with ease. 380 pounds, and there is one. Uh, <laughs> one. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I was thinking that last one. Yeah, It, yeah, I didn't okay. I was, I think, at fifth place in the log. Um, Tom's master. It was so good to see Tom just nail it. But the, I just found the, the way the log fell on my chest was a little bit off, and my legs, don't know, just not as explosive as as they normally are. But yeah, it was good getting three reps. We have the Inver stones to finish off. So yeah, just want to smash them, and yeah, just keep the, keep the ball rolling. Showing that the old fucker can do some stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the performance so far, mate. Obviously, we're like a third of the way through. I'm really excited for tomorrow's events. That's what I said coming into it. Um, for me, the day two is a little bit better, I think. So yeah, just buzzing, man. I fucking love it, man. It's class. So cool being in Aberdeen as well. I think the deadlift went as expected. So I think uh, Tom, we went into that event, I suppose, lacking a little bit of confidence based on Tom's past experiences. And I think based on his injury. Um, and that went really well. You know, we did what we set out to do. Uh, I think we finished in seventh place then. Going into event two, which was once we got the deadlift out of the way, as far as I'm concerned, this is all, all events made for Tom. So farmers into the log press. There was a bit of a, I think a bit of a mix up at the start and Tom lost 13 seconds because he didn't know that the buzzer went and nobody behind backstage, we were watching live backstage and uh, none of us knew the buzzer had gone either and we eventually, Tom finished, we challenged the 13 second he'd lost because Mel, the girl that was with him that was doing the rum, she'd also lost the same time frame and uh, yeah, I think he finished in that event third overall. 
we are joint fifth in the overall standings. Got one event to go. So that is the uh, the old good old Inverstones. And I'm confident by the time we get to this evening after Inverstones, we will be on the podium going into day two. See you after the stones. You will do. The Highland Oak joining us here now. Luke Stolman takes to the floor. Strongman event number three. Can the Highland Oak clear these stones quicker than Pablo Cordiaca? One minute, 20 seconds is the time to be. Making light work of that three. The King of Stones, the current world's strongest man, the first world's strongest man of Scotland, Tom Stoltman. All right, this is why he's called the King of Stones. Tom Stoltman, coming out hot of the gates, two stones lifted. He smashed it, but he forgot the bloody buzzer. Me and Hardy turned and we're like, the buzzer, buzzer! And he's like... And then <laughs> my brother messaged him, you forget the buzzer. Good call. 54! It's not going to be a time to beat, but he's going to be fast! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, raise your hands for our strong man. Right guys, so day one is over and yeah, it went exactly as I thought. Obviously, we started the day off with deadlifting, deadlifting with this injury that I've had. You know, it was uh, pretty much just what getting 400 kg and that was uh, that was the max and that was the min for me. There was no going over that. I had to, I mean, I had to go back in and then a minute later come out and do 410. That was never going to happen. So, you know, um, I've only been properly with uh, Aaron as well for three or four weeks, so it's been it was nice to be able to, as a base, do 400. Now, you know, in the off season, we get that up and up and up and up and get this injury 100%. It's always in that position. I can't, it's still pretty sore. So anyway, going into the next two events, I knew that was very, very good. Second event was uh, Farmers into Log. Me and Mel kind of looked at each other there. It was, pretty, it was pretty bad. I mean, everyone else got like a minute to go out there and set up, but they said for us, it's brought forward and we were still behind and it says 20 seconds and we had to basically run out. But anyway, uh, they, they took the time off from me and I got, ended up getting, I think it was 38 seconds or something. So very, very happy with that. Top three in that event. And then Enverstones. Um, I think I've done Enverstones once and I didn't really... Uh, I, natural stones of me don't go very well, but I knew that I just had to do a, just a, a fast kind of five. You know, I did, I did a fast five. Unfortunately, <laughs> I celebrated before hitting the buzzer. I think the buzzer, you know, in my eyes, it's a very, very stupid idea, especially being strawman. You just want to, it's like VAR in football, you can't really celebrate until you press a button or get that decision. So I think it's just, you do your event and do it. That may have may, may have added like three seconds to my tie. I don't think it would have changed me beating uh, Mitchell, but yeah, it was good that I was able to get top three in that. My, my goal was top three in these, uh, these two events. Um, and then going into day two, you know, I'm third place, two points behind, I thought half hour and I think six or seven behind Mitchell. I think we all not always knew that Mitchell Hooper was, you know, I think, I thought Halfer was going to be 100% and maybe further towards him, but I kind of knew in my head that I, 
you know, with Mitchell, if I'm not 100 percent and Mitchell Hooper 100 percent you can't catch him, but I know I can catch half hour at me being 80, 85 percent. And I think, you know, half hour started off good with the deadlift. Very slower than I thought on the f f uh, farmers and stuff for some reason and then came back with the stones. But then tomorrow, you're looking tomorrow and, you know, I think Armour Arm of Arm's going to be close to that. And then so is the power steel one. But I think the one where he's going to drop maybe, again, last place or second last place is the, the press medley. At 190 yards to finish is, is massive. So, you know, that's... I'm in a really good place right now. You know, half hour being too ahead of me, but I honestly think I can finish a day as it is right now, or, you know, even much better than it is right now. So yeah, it's a very good event to have. Like I said, you know, I was coming into this event just to mentally have a, and I didn't want to end it on Vegas, how I did end it, you know, pulling out of that competition, feeling like absolute crap and not being motivated. I wanted to end it on at least a top three at Rogue. That's the kind of, you know, it's a big event, it's a, it's a massive event, it's the end of the year, and I don't want to be ending it on a negative, I want to be ending it on a positive. Taking away these three events of the first day, my recovery's been unreal, you know, after the frame and log as well, you know, that how I kind of touched and go with the log, and how I kind of went through the farmers as well, not the frame side of the farmers, I felt very fit, I felt very kind of efficient as well, and in the stones as well, no mistakes in that, just going right through it. I, you know, I think with the stones as well, I think it would be different if it was we were against each other because I kind of I felt like I was in gear three or gear four. I wasn't in my top gear, which again was really good. I think it kind of proves that like with a bit more confidence in the stones, with maybe that eight to ten week prep, that I can just go into these competitions now and beast them. So yeah, I'm very happy with how I performed. You know, we have to sleep now and go into day two and keep these performances up. I think day two there's a lot of better people here. Day two is going to be pretty brutal. I think you're going to start off with a uh, the the fucking bail into the shield, into the armor round, which is going to be brutal. But like I said, these events are more lighter, but you have to be fitter. And I think, uh, you know, it's it's nice that myself and Aaron, it's our first time meeting face to face. It's our first time being at a comp together. He's still learning with me. I'm still learning with him. But the three proper, we've had, like it has been since Vegas, three, proper, three, three weeks of proper training and I've already been like this. So it's, it's, a, nice, it's a nice stepping stone. It's nice to see that with this three to four weeks training, what am I going to be like when I have proper 10 to 12 weeks? I, you know, it's nice that I was able to, I can actually see that, like, everything I'm doing in training with Aaron is actually paying off on the field. Obviously, you know, we, it's nowhere, it's, it's, sorry, it's no secret that deadlift right now is down, but it's never going to, like, in three weeks time, I'm not going to get from 400 to 450. That is basically impossible. And so now I know, right in off season, me and Aaron are going to do a lot of things. We've, we've already done a few things that are going to help, but now from now to Arnold, which will be our next competition, we're going to be really hammering the deadlift and really kind of get different, you know, using more leg drive, using different different stances and stuff and getting it, the brace better so that we don't have a weakness anymore. I knew Vegas was kind of like a, just a bad step in the road for me. I know, you know, no disrespect to everyone. I think I can beat every single person here if I'm not 100% except for Mitchell Hooper. And I think, you know, with me and Mitchell Hooper are 100%, it's back and forth. I'm very happy with how everything's gone. Very, very happy with how day one's went. So let's just bring it on to day two and very confident in myself that, you know, top three is, is mine and top two, myself and Mitchell will be one and two, which is what everybody wants to see, so. Um, yeah, I think it went to plan. As it finished this evening, I think Mitch is in first, Thor's in second, Tom's in third. Mission accomplished. On to tomorrow. I think it'll hit me when I finish. I've got to go and treat Tom now, so, and possibly Luke. So, uh another hour or two of treatment and uh yeah i think that will be me done well that and the cider and probably the xanax see you tomorrow see you tomorrow